I swear, one of these days I'll find a way around your guard. You've lost none of your acid wit, I see. Maybe you'd like to back that up. Let's say one more bout before Master Lee steals you away. Let us begin. Did you see? Master Lee was watching. He may not show it, but he clearly takes pride in watching his students practice. I learn something every time we meet, proving that loss sometimes is the best teacher. Thank the heavens the bruises are worth it. You are gracious as always. I regret that there won't be much time for such practice now that you've almost finished your training. Master Lee told me to pass on that you should speak to him when you have the chance. He said you could take your time, so you need not rush. Master Lee just went into his house. It's just over there, as always. You have some time to wander the school and talk with other students. Smiling Mountain likely has some of the younger students available if you want to spar. I shall leave you to it. Take care, my friend. Typical. Ah, there you are, my student. I watched your bout against Jing Wu with great pride. You have gained almost all you can from the practice arena. You are my best pupil, though you came to me an orphan. I have tried to prepare you for the responsibility your skills will bring. Have you given thought to your future? Your lessons are complete. Remember these basic skills and keep them at heart. But also remember the classes are not a true measure of ability. Always be ready to learn. I recall that as a child, you fell and bruised your arm. I comforted you, saying that small pains are part of learning, but not every setback imparts wisdom. You must be careful. 
Sometimes all you learn in defeat is that you have been defeated. This world is out of balance. Spirits grow restless, and you have a role to play that I have kept secret. Those who announce their important destiny before they are ready tend to meet unfortunate ends. The wise only seek attention when capable of dealing with it. The people are scared. I do not have all the answers, but I know you will become very important to the fates of many. You will be called to face a great evil. Master! Master Lee! What is this interruption? This had better be important. There is much to say. Master! Nijo had to warn me. He saw a boat from the outlook past the fields. Strange outlaws. They, 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 they fired something at him. And Kiamin was injured. Where is she now? Still outside the village by the outlook. Nijo couldn't carry her. Please come, Master Lee. The bandits are not at the village yet, but they could arrive at any time. Hmm. We will have to continue our discussion later, my student. It appears we have more pressing matters. You will have your chance to fight soon enough. Go to Gu Jin, the Weapon Master. He has a weapon for you, and you will have need of it before long. On your way, make certain Dawn Star is aware of the danger. Her skills have always complemented yours, so take her with you. Prepare yourself for a potential attack while I tend to my fallen student. I will return as soon as I can. We will continue our discussion when the threat is over. Good. The time comes when you will know all you need to. For now, keep the basics at heart. I hear bandits have injured Kia Min. She is a favorite pupil and holds the record for the challenge I run. I'm sure Master Lee will take care of her. What can I do for you? I am here to serve and train. I am charged with giving whatever instruction I can, but my insights deal more with the philosophy of combat than the skills themselves. Ah, yes, training. For some time now, I have offered, for a small fee, to run students through a short regimen that will help them enhance their abilities. The lessons you learn from me, or from any trainer for that matter, will stay with you and help make you stronger or better able to focus your mind or magic. Let's see what you can learn.
What's the matter, Dawnstar? Are you scared that Master Lee might find out? There is talk of approaching bandits and you bother me with unsubtle advances. How very like you, Gao. No doubt a tactic learned from your criminal father. His name is Gao the Greater, and he built a fortune out of some ragged thieves and slave traders. If my charm can't lift your spirit, I'll buy the ground from under you. Flaunting your father's undeserved wealth does not impress me, Gao. It only serves to push me further away. You step beyond your station. She and I are discussing her future. Thank you, Gao, but I'll pick my own poison. Now leave, and if you'd be so kind, stay downwind. I won't forget this, Dawnstar. You show great disrespect. You as well. You will not take all the glory if there is an attack. We are not through. Oh, he is Gao the Lesser in all respects. I thought Master Lee allowed him to stay so that the influence of the father could be countered, but Gao never learns. He acts like he's above Master Lee's teachings. Such are the conceits of wealth, I suppose. I appreciate that you arrived when you did. Yes, he said you were coming. He just passed here with C. Pat on his way to help Kia in. It's strange that simple bandits would launch such a raid. Master Lee was concerned that this would interrupt your training. His respect for your potential is just so... absolute. Has he told you any more about your future? You're right. As useful as it was to help Master Lee learn about the restlessness of the dead, thanks to my gift, I see enough disturbing things as it is. If we can stop the bandits quickly, we can keep everyone safe. Let's go get your weapon from Gujin's workshop. It shouldn't be too hard to fend off simple bandits. They are foolish to attempt such an attack. Of course. Good company will make the walk go faster. His workshop is in the center of the village by the gate, up the stairs from the square. It's the largest and most permanent building. You must be tired if you're asking me about that. You've talked to him many times. We should get our weapons as quickly as we can. I am honored that Master Lee feels I am worthy of standing beside you. Why are we going back to the school? We need to go to Gujin's, north of the main square in town. Nice little town you have here. Not a lot of guards, are there? How are your stocks of food? I don't know you. Why are you asking me all these questions? This town isn't well guarded. Forget it, let's just start looting. 
We'll get first crack at the good stuff. You're right. This isn't worth it. I can't believe they've moved so quickly. We need your weapon. Gujin will be in his shop north of the main stairs. Why would bandits come here to do... I'm so shocked, I don't know what to say. How... It's... Why would bandits come here to two rivers? This building is Gujin's place. As soon as we can, we should see him to arm ourselves. Bandits, huh? I, I see a lot of them. I'd better let someone else have some fun for a change. I can't abandon the gate. You never know if they're going to sneak around. Uh, no, please. I, I can't fight. I just didn't want to be a rock picker in my grandfather's field. Guarding the gate looked easy. I never thought bandits would actually come. Please don't let them get me. Don't let them. Hello, Weapon Master Gujin. Good day to you. Ha-ha-ha-ha-ha-ha-ha-ha-ha-ha-ha-ha-ha-ha-ha-ha-ha-ha-ha-ha-ha-ha-ha-ha-ha-ha-ha-ha-ha-ha-ha-ha-ha-
In time, Dawnstar will be able to handle a weapon like this. But don't discount the blade I gave her. Master Lee wanted her to have the keenest steel I could find. They say this blade was created in the forge of Smiling Fortune, blacksmith to the gods. Crafted for his son, this blade eventually found its way into the hands of men. How your master found it, I cannot say, but this ancient longsword is yours, if you wish it. We're fighting to the east. We have to push these bandits back off the beach. That's much better. Y y you. There's. I. I will. They are swarming. I will guard the gate, but you need to get down. Thank the heavens you came down here. They're animals. <laughs> <laughs> 